2,977 innocent human beings were murdered by radical Islamic terrorists on September 11, 2001. Three hundred and forty three New York City firefighters, thirty seven Port Authority police officers, twenty three NYPD police officers, eight EMT paramedics. They went in and they went up, knowing they probably weren't coming back. Inside the building, One World Trade Center, the North Tower. And hundreds and hundreds of people, civilians, were evacuating the building. And so they looked like a funnel going onto the escalator. And I noticed something in that moment. I noticed what they were not doing. They were not pushing, kicking, trampling each other. In fact, it was the opposite. For every person who was obese, pregnant, disabled, or injured, there are four or five regular office workers, not cops or firemen, regular people helping that person and I said you know what no matter what happens today we're gonna be okay because that is the human spirit one elevator car the hoistway doors were open so you could see into the shaft the elevator car had not come down all the way at the top of the opening you could see the pe all the people's feet that were in the elevator and I remember seeing the men's suit jackets and, and shirt sleeves trying to pull the elevator down enough where they could slide out at that time, I didn't understand that that elevator car had free-fallen 70 floors because the plane snapped the cable. But they were screaming and panicking because not only had they taken this ride, but the elevator pit below them was full of jet fuel that was on fire. And they were right above it. And I want to use what happened to me to talk about the truth of what happened on September 11th and who did it. Never forget the heroes, my friends, and those that are walking among us that need our love and support. Thank you.